One huge part of statistics is all about displaying the data you have. So in this video, we're going to talk about two of the main ways that we can actually just go about uh, displaying those actual data values. The two main ways that we can really use are using tables and charts. In a table, uh, these are essentially just organized ways of keeping and showing your data. Uh, oftentimes, it's what will have a lot of the raw data in. Now, in a chart, these are usually a, a little bit more of a visual way of showing that data. And there's usually many, many different charts and, and plots that you can use to actually show that data, such as scatter plots, line charts, bar charts, pie charts, uh, just many ways that you can just quickly look at the data and visually see what's going on. Let's take a look at examples, uh, say, between the tables and the charts. Okay, so in this one, I have a, a fairly basic example of a table over here. It lists the investors and how much money they have in both uh, bonds and stocks. And you can see it really gives us all the information we need about any one of these investors. For example, if I wanted to see how much uh, Jane had in stocks, I could find her particular row and then find the column for stocks and see that, well, it looks like Jane has uh, $300 in stocks. Now, sometimes when looking at a table, what's not so nice is being able to visually see those uh, relationships. Like, does it look like people are investing more into bonds or more into stocks? Well, we could, you know, look at the uh, data in the table, but it'd be much nicer if I could just quickly look at, say, a chart and be able to figure out that same information. So let's take this and now put it into a, a nice, more visual thing uh, using uh, a nice little chart over here. We're going to do a bar chart. So I want to list out my three investors. I got Bob. We'll do one for Jane. And let's see, one for Steve. And we want to represent the amounts of money they have in each of these. Uh, looking at the amounts, uh, looks like maybe going from 100 all the way up to 400, that should be good enough. So 100, 200, 300, and 400. Now we want to show the two types of things that they're investing in. Uh, their amount in bonds and the amount in, say, stocks. Let's go ahead and make a, a key somewhere to see what we got. So we'll do blue. We use this for bonds. Let's go ahead and use our red one. We'll say that stocks. Okay, now we can create a uh, bar for how much they're, they have in bonds, how much they have for stocks, and we'll be able to visually see what they have. Let's start off with Bob. So starting with Bob, looks like he has $100 in bonds. So we'll make a small bar, goes up to the 100 mark, and back down. So now I can visually see how much Bob has. Uh, let's see, for Jane, they have even more in bonds. So we'll do a large one, goes halfway between 100 and 200. And quickly I can see that Jane has definitely invested more uh, into bonds. And one more for Steve. Steve goes all the way up to 200. So that looks about right. All right, now let's do the same for all of our stocks. So starting with Bob, uh, they've invested quite a bit into stocks all the way up to 250. So we'll do another bar that goes all the way up to the 250 mark halfway and then back down. So both of these bars represent uh, Bob's, and we see he's invested substantially more into stocks. Okay, the same for Jane. This one needs to go all the way up to the 300 mark. It probably shouldn't have been quite like that, but you get the idea. And Steve, 200. So now that we have some nice visuals here, you can see that uh, the data is a lot easier to read. For example, if I want to know if anyone has the same amount in both bonds and stocks, uh, Steve stands out pretty quickly on the end because he's the only one with two bars that are exactly the same height. 
Uh, now, there's many other types of charts that you can end up using, uh, which I'll get into in a lot of my other videos. But just for now, keep uh, in mind that a lot of your data starts in tables, but then you could visually see it using charts. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.